A new study conducted in St. Louis indicates that many older people diagnosed with neurological problems may really have hearing challenges. My guest today is Dr. Jacques Herzog, an ear surgeon and cochlear implant specialist from St. Luke's Hospital in Chesterfield. Thanks for joining us, Dr. Herzog. Thank you. So tell us about this new research and what it means. Well, what we found was that there was a concern earlier that as people became older and became candidates for cochlear implants, they would not do as well as their younger counterparts. What we found, in fact, is these individuals do just as well as people half their age. So what made you decide to conduct the study? Well, there's always been a concern among clinicians that as people develop hearing loss when they're older, they're often mistaken to have confusion, early dementia, or Alzheimer's, when in fact they simply have hearing loss. Now, you brought a photo along that we'll put up on the screen, and you have a story to go along with this. Um, okay, there we go. Sure. This, is, this individual is in her early 80s. She's a... Uh, a grandmother, in fact, I believe she's a great-grandmother, and she had difficulty with profound hearing loss and had difficulty interacting and basically been shut out in her life. And we saw her, found that she had this terrible, horrible hearing loss, and we placed the device, and after it was activated, she was back to leading an independent and almost normal lifestyle. So it's important that you determine whether it's Alzheimer's or hearing loss. That's true. We want, we want to make certain that, in fact, what's going on is that this is purely hearing loss and there aren't other factors that we can see uh, in elderly individuals such as early dementia or Alzheimer's. I'm surprised that hearing loss would be mistaken for Alzheimer's. Well, sure. What, what, what can happen is that uh, we're, we're talking to an individual who can't hear and we assume that the lack of response is confusion or dementia when, in fact, the problem is they simply can't hear. Well, tell us about the steps involved in the surgery with a cochlear implant and you're going to hold up some things for people to take a close-up look at. Sure. Once we determine they're a candidate, we schedule the surgical procedure. It's about an hour, hour and a half operation. We approach it through an incision behind the ear and we place a device that looks much like this. Uh, the larger part on my left hand is a receiver stimulator that's placed under the scalp and then the electrode array is threaded into the inner ear of cochlea. They spend a night in the hospital and then they go home the next day. The recovery is about a week more or less. And then about two or three weeks after surgery, we activate the device, and in fact, they can hear at that time. Now, is there a top age limit? Well, our youngest patient we uh, implant is nine months. Our oldest uh, was activated at the age of 90, and she's 93, living an independent, active lifestyle. Now, how does an older person decide whether to get a cochlear implant or the regular kind of hearing aid? Well, what we're seeing really are the patients who fail hearing aid uh, amplification, conventional hearing aids, and, and all of our patients by protocol have to have tried hearing aids initially and if they fail that this is the alternative for them. I hear so many people complain about hearing aids that although your voice might be louder so would the noise in the room next to us. That's true that's always a problem with hearing aids because they simply are amplifiers and regardless of what we always hear you can only establish so much clarity with a hearing aid and then the other thing that happens is hearing aids fail to improve understanding of speech and that's what a lot of these individuals have and the cochlear implant actually allows us by electrically stimulating the cochlea to improve word understanding. Boy, it is amazing. Well, Dr. Herzog, thanks for joining us again. Nice to see you. Well, thank you. Nice seeing you, too. Art, 